My name is Lacey Lux. I'm a biochemistry major here at Stetson and I graduate this May of 2012. The title of my project was a fluorescent spectroscopic investigation of the binding of bisphenol A to yeast alcohol dehydrogenase. Actually a student last year who got a SURE grant who did a lot of research into the kinetic studies of bisphenol A binding to yeast alcohol dehydrogenase. So we knew that it bound and we knew that it inhibited the enzymatic function, but we didn't know how it bound because enzy enzymatic kinetics don't tell you how it binds, it just tells you that it does. So fluorescent spectroscopy is a way to look into the mechanism of binding rather than just the fact that it does bind. This type of research isn't exactly trial and error. I mean, we had enough backed up like support for the idea that it bound to the NAD plus cofactor binding site, but we needed the additional proof. And this provides that additional proof. You set up the machine to run at a certain wavelength that you want it to run at, and you know, you get all of the concentrations together and mix it in a very exact kind of a way. Make sure that you can calculate everything that's in there. You know, and that, that for me was, I really like stuff like that. I really like exact and I really enjoy things on very, very small levels. Plots that were at the end, the Stern-Volmer plots, those um, values that are predicted by the slope, I mean, those are really the best evidence. You know, because they were on the same order of magnitude, it means that they bind in a very similar way, that being NAD plus and um, BPA. For my senior research, I'm actually looking into two other NAD dependent uh, enzymes, which are called um, lactate dehydrogenase and glutamate dehydrogenase. So that's really the topic of my senior research. Stetson University.